Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexa, if you didn't know. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my makeup for my engagement party. That's right. <laughs> I am engaged. Last time I did a video, I was not, and now I am. Spencer and I just recently got engaged. We've been engaged for about a week now, I think. And we're having a super small engagement party tonight with just our immediate family. Uh, so I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how I got ready, how I did my hair and makeup and all of that. And I think this is going to be a fun video. I'm thinking of starting maybe a wedding series on my channel, just filming different things that we do, preparing for the wedding and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. So to start off my makeup look, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Your Skin But Better in the shade Fairlight to use as my base and I will be blending that in with my Real Techniques beauty sponge. Next, you're gonna do eyes. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I've had this palette for a super long time. I use it all the time when I'm trying to do just a basic eye look because all of the colors are matte. So I'm going to use this Morphe brush, which is like just a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go in with the colors Nudie and Cashmere Bunny, which are two brown shades, and do my crease. Next, I'm going to use this Fat Real Techniques brush, and I'm going to use this white shade Heaven to put all over my lid as a base. I'm going to take an angled Real Techniques brush and go in with the darkest brown shade Sexpresso and line my eyes to prepare for eyeliner. Once I finish with the dark brown eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my EM Cosmetics liner. This is from Michelle Phan. Um, I've been using this for a really long time. I really like it. It's really easy to control. So I will be using that to line my eyes. finished with liner, I always like to do a really tiny baby wing and that's it. I don't like to make it too long because once you make it a little bit on the long side that it's super hard to even out. But the next product I'm going to go in with is concealer and I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer. It's another product that I've been using forever. Um, I just recently changed colors. Before I was using the shade Sand, now I'm using Stone. I think it works better for me and gives a little bit of that brightening effect. So I'll be using that under my eyes. Once I've blended that in, I'll go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just tap in some powder under my eyes to set. I've literally had this for years and have never replaced it. 
It's just, I guess, because I used so little. It's lasted me so long. It's like on its last leg, though. There's barely anything left in this thing. I used to bake. I don't really bake anymore. Just kind of tap in the powder to set it. I'll do my eyes. I wanted this look to be a little bit more fresh, so I'm not going to do too much bronzer. So I'm just gonna go super light on that. I'm gonna be using the Laura Geller bronzer. This looks like this. I'm gonna be using a bronzer brush. Actually, this is a blush brush, but I use it for bronzer from Real Techniques to just lightly put some bronzer on. Lately, I've been really into uh, cream blushes or liquid blushes. I haven't really loved the powder blushes. So I'm going to be using the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte Blush in the shade Beach Babe. I like it because it's not super pink, but it's a nice muted shade. And just put a little bit on there, on the tops of my cheeks, just like that. And then it's convenient because on the other side it comes with this little brush to brush it out. I'm brushing that out into the apples of my cheeks and swiping it up. I always like to go in with my beauty blender and pat that in to really make it look natural and not too much. Like it gives you a nice little sun-kissed glow. Once the cheeks are done, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills, the label has completely wiped off, and my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. And brush up the brows. I don't ever fill my brows in. If you guys have been watching for a long time, you would know that because my brows are already like caterpillars. <laughs> I always like to go back in with the Cashmere Bunny and Nudie and just kind of swipe some powder underneath my eyes to give dimension. For my next step, I'm going with my Urban Decay Afterglow Powder Highlight. It is in the shade, what shade is this? I think it might be Sin, but I don't know. Um, but it's kind of like a champagne-y shade and just blend it on my cheeks. for that little button nose effect. And I can't tell. It's such an out of order step, but I always do this before I put lipstick or mascara on so that it doesn't like run. I always use my Kula makeup setting spray. It has 30 SPF and it's organic. So I really enjoy this setting spray. I'm just gonna stick it. has a really nice scent to it. After the setting spray has dried, I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I love this mascara. I feel like it really does the job of volumizing the lashes. I'm almost out because I use it all the time. Just going. So our last step is lipstick, and since my dress has little red roses on it, I wanted to do a red lip. This dress, by the way, I bought it specifically for this event. It's from Backyard Roses. And to match the red flowers, I'm going to go in with a red lip. So I'm going to be going with Kylie Cosmetics uh, Lip Kit in the shade Mary Jo K. This is an original Kylie shade. 
and I'm just going to use the liner. Her liners are super pigmented, so I'm going to be using that. So, oh, it seems the tip has fallen out. <laughs> Let me sharpen that real quick. <laughs> now I'm going to actually paint my lips. how the red lip looks. I'm going to quickly do my hair and then I'll show you the finished look. Altogether this ended up being a super fresh look and I love how the pearl clip and the red lip just kind of bring it all together matching the dress and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!